Hey everybody, it's Stefan here on Gender Queer Chat. Um, so, uh, do a little bit of catch up. I'm sorry about last week. Um, so last week we were talking about uh, bullying and uh, the It Gets Better project. Um, so, um, yeah, um, I've been pretty lucky in that like I wasn't really bullied at, in school or anything like that. Um, people mostly left me alone, which is good. Um, and, um, you know, but I know that it's a it's a big deal for some people, and uh, it's definitely something that shouldn't be tolerated in a learning environment, especially. Um, so, um, but you know, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, the It Gets Better project. Um, I know that it has like some some criticisms in terms of like, you know, well, it may not get better for some people if you're in a really bad situation, and you know. Um, but I mean, it, I think it's there for the people who need it. Um, I just uh, heard Dan Savage speak recently at the um, American Library Association annual conference. And so he talked a little bit about um, the evolution of that project. And so I think it has really good intent behind it. And um, it's definitely helped a lot of people. And so I think if there are criticisms, then other projects need to happen as well. Um, to pick up that slack, but um, I'm definitely, um, you know, the more ways that we can help LGBT youth um, get through things and, you know, see the bright rainbow at the end of the tunnel, um, you know, then the better. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, and then this week's topic is story time. And so we're basically supposed to, you know, tell you a story about whatever. Um, it could be our coming out stories, it could be a story about what happened today, it could be, oh, I don't know, whatever. So story time. Um, so, oh wow, it got dark fast. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I just have a quick story for you today. Um, so as part of um, our Welcome Week events for Pride Alliance um, here at my school. Um, I'm doing a video, so I show ev all the freshmen and everybody um, where all the cool gay things to do in town are. Um, and we have this one gay club um, called, well, I guess I won't say what it's called, but anyways, uh, we have this one gay club, and um, it uh, is usually marked by a purple door and um, no other signage. So we're going to have this whole thing about like, ooh, when you're 21, you can find out what's behind the mysterious purple door. Um, so me and the film guy get down there. And um, first of all, the door is not purple anymore. It's like this fugly ass brown with this like dark purple trim all the way around it. It's just really nasty looking. So we had to change it to mysterious door and leave out the purple part, which is kind of taking away most of the fun. Um, but anyway, as we're like prancing around, wondering about the purple door in front of this gay club, uh, this guy walks by and he just goes, queers. Like, not necessarily like, I don't know, derogatory or like saying something to, I don't know. It's just very declarative, like queers, like I figured it out or something. And I was just like, yep. And, um, so the funny thing is, um, this dude is, like, walking around with this cowboy hat with this raccoon tail off the end of it. So it's like, oh yeah, you should talk, dude. Um, <laughs> and my poor film guy was like, just don't let that happen all the time. And I was like, uh, no, but I don't really see a guy with a raccoon hat on all the time either. <laughs> so it was just like... Wow, congratulations, dude. You figured out that the guys prancing around in front of the gay club were gay. Oh my god. So that was kind of funny. And then um, on the way back to campus after the photo shoot, um, the guy was sitting at um, a bus stop. And so I was just like, wave at him. And um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's my fun story for today. And uh, hopefully other people have better stories, because that was just what popped into my head. So I'll see you all later. Good night.